Namaste beautiful mamas When is it appropriate for you to resume working out and doing yoga after giving birth? We were talking about this today Now, after you give birth, it really depends It's, it's a very personal thing when you will begin walking Usually within a week you can start gently small, really small walks and then gradually increase. Now the things that you have to pay attention to when you're walking is if there is pelvic floor pressure, how your overall energy is and listen to that, that's your guide. You really want to listen to your body and not rush forward with exercising. Don't be anxious about exercising because that is waiting out there for you when you're ready. First, in your most important job besides taking care of your baby, is to heal properly. When your body heals properly, you get the chance to actually rejuvenate and be stronger than pre-birth if you let everything come in back together and heal properly. The connective tissue is very loose and stretched, which is actually uh, something that's good because you needed it for birth and you need it to stretch to that size. So now you're going to be releasing a little less and less and less of that hormone relaxing that is softening your tissues and you'll be able to tighten up a little bit now while you're breastfeeding that tightening up might happen a little slower that's okay and your estrogen progesterone testosterone levels will be a little different so your fat dip, uh, fat will be um, a little distributed a little different than your normal fat distribution that's also okay your most important job if you're breastfeeding is to breastfeed your baby and then worry about fat distribution because things will level off eventually so be patient now when you uh, are ready to resume a yoga routine again that is on a very person to person basis but around six to seven weeks you can try my find your core series it's a playlist of 30 day series, but you can stretch it out to 60 days, repeating classes or skipping days. And I would say it's a playlist of uh, numbered classes, but uh, uh, that you can find on my channel, but you can look at the class that is number eight, because in that class, I'm paying special attention to the TVA, the transverse abdominis, and pulling everything in together, activating the TVA and also starting to heal diastasis, which most women who have separation between the two parts, the two sides of the ab deep abdominal wall because of the sheer size um, that we're in and also uh, because of the stretching, the relaxing. Now, everything will come back in slow, slowly together, so don't worry. Start it six to seven weeks if you had natural delivery and maybe a week longer if you had a cesarean. You can also massage your scar with, um, uh, there is particular techniques that you can learn from a physical therapist or a massage therapist and uh, you can do self-massage on the scar so that you're softening the scar tissue. Uh, be very careful, don't do anything that pulls and tugs on your scar. Also, don't do anything that puts extra pressure on the pelvic floor if you have given natural uh, birth. Don't jump up until you're at least five, six, seven, eight, nine months postpartum. I think I started jumping at six months maybe postpartum. I didn't feel any uh, pelvic floor pressure at that point, so it felt right. Small jumps when there is zero but we're talking zero pelvic floor pressure because if there is pelvic floor pressure that means your tissues are not strong enough to support jumping and you're just doing damage after that at around i would say three months kind of as an average one three four months for some women five months it depends how quickly you heal how quickly you recover the type of delivery you had at around three to four months postpartum i started uploading all the exercises for that stage on my website on my membership it's only 9.99 a month and there's 400 classes there ongoing challenges weekly class every week and schedules so it's an amazing value full length yoga and workout classes the postpartum classes are on there as well so that's the type of workouts i started doing and you can see in those classes how i gradually increased um, the types of moves 
the variations of the mousse and the um, I added variety, more strength mousse, more jumping and so forth slowly, very gradually. New yoga pose is also very gradually, things say for diastasis um, and slowly building up on that. So you can check out those classes as well or even uh, my classes on this channel. I have a few here on this channel as well. So we covered when to start and how to start. If you have any questions regarding uh, postpartum uh, exercises and exercise regimes and routines, please don't hesitate to post your questions below and I will address them also. I will be posting most of my postpartum videos on my second channel, which you will find the link for below. So go and subscribe over there. I will be doing my beauty videos, um, lifestyle videos, vlogs and postpartum and mommy videos and family videos and just general non-yoga class videos over there, uh, talks, astrology talks, chats, live streams and so forth. So go subscribe there so that you don't miss on those important uh, inf informative videos and I will talk to you soon. I hope this was helpful to you. You will find the playlist for the Find Your Core series below. Namaste.